Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do another deck profile and this is something that you have all voted for in the community page. Uh, this wasn't the first pick, but this was the second pick, which is Subterror. Now most of you are probably here because of Subterrors and right now we are in kind of a interesting control format and I really think that Subterror has a lot to gain here. Uh, even with the Dragon Overlords, this deck still has something to prove and yeah, I'm going to feature a gen generic, generic build that you can build around. Uh, maybe you need some more hand traps for your locals or maybe you can even play less locals for your locals or lo less hand traps for your locals and yeah i'm just going to show you my build what i think is pretty viable now this is a pure build we are not playing dragoon we are not playing numeral engine because <laughs> that doesn't do anything anymore right guys yeah this is just the main uh, general build kind of streamlined a little bit more and something that i just came up with and it worked and uh, yeah Let's go into the deck profile. All right, so a little bit more of a traditional build with Guru. And yeah, I'll, I'll just go into the deck profile. Triple Guru, makes sense. Triple Venus, play Archer. Then fan favorite, the best reptile in the game. You must Rex is back in the deck. I figured that in this a little bit more slower format, uh, I wanted to try him out a little bit. I know there are players that swear by this card. I cut him down for a while now. But I think that it is time for a card like this to return, now that the format isn't really settled down just yet. So yeah, I am playing the Yuma Strix. Then I am playing a small hand trap package containing of Triple Ash. And I'm playing tr Double Ogre. Um, these are all the hand traps that I run. So if your local has like more Dragon Link players or like you need more hand traps, then feel free. Like there are a, cards, a couple of cards in this deck that you can cut down to, like for example the Yuma Strix. I wanted to choose this because Dragon Link is just super popular and this deck is overall great against like an insane amount of decks. Anyway, and just because of the Dragon Link menace, I wanted to play Ogre for a little bit. But of course, hand trap lineups are always up for discussion. Maybe you want to test like Phantasme, which could be good. Maybe you want to test like Nibiru, just because of the format. But uh, yeah, since the format really is, hasn't been decided yet, so uh, I just wanted to like try to play these generic cards. Triple City. Triple x -Ref. I am not playing Prosperity, I'm playing Duality. We are playing a pure deck, we are not going to dig more or deeper for our Red Ice Fusion. So I figured that a pot of card like Pot of Pros Duality might just be good enough. Because you can resolve these two in the same turn, but you cannot resolve Prosperity. So I figured that the Duality would work just fine. Then I'll play Double Cyclone, because this card stops. This card is really good against Dragon Link as well, even though it's not like needed. That's good versus Invoked, good versus Shadow, it's good versus like Eldlick of course, so I'm playing the Cyclone. Still playing Cave Clash, uh, maybe a little bit high with the, the both Duma Strix and the Cave Clash, but I like Cave Clash, it's a good card. Terraforming, called by the Grave, just because it's a utility card. Very straightforward. I'm playing Floodgates, you know I don't really like Floodgates, uh, but there can be only one that's just so good versus like Shadol versus Dragon Link versus Eldritch. I'm also playing. <laughs> Where is it? I'm also playing Summon Limit. You guys really aren't used to seeing Floodgates from me because I don't really ever play them. Uh, but a deck like this, like especially now, Summon Limit is just such a broken card. This card is just insane. Just like Summon Two Monsters. Uh, okay, activate no response cool, then you pass turn. And I can gain full control of the match. I don't really like playing these cards in the deck, but uh, just as a general build, you can play this. You can play more hand traps instead of these cards as well. I don't think the deck needs this, but it's nice to get some free easy wins, I guess, because they cannot out these cards turn game or at turn one, match one. So yeah, playing judgments, playing strikes, maximum of both, uh, just to like stop monsters. Stop them from making Phoenix to out my summon limits. And yeah, just maximum negates. The last two cards are double final battle. I'm playing only two right now, just to... Uh, I still haven't decided if you should play three or two or whatever. You could cut, cut the Cave Clash for this. I like Cave Clash a little bit more. Or the Yuma Strix for the third copy. I think that two is fine, especially since we run duality. So you can easily just finish your setup. And I think that in like a slower format that we are in right now, um, you can definitely get away with two. And for the extra deck, um, there are a couple of things you can do. Uh, this extra deck is built to side 
the uh, because everyone plays Duster right now and everyone plays Lightning Storm, this side deck is a little bit made to, uh, you know, play cards like the uh, Lightning Lightning Road, Starlight Road, Starlight Road. Um, you can opt to go for something like Punishment in the side deck as well, just to get more removal for stuff like Zodiac, which is why uh, that card is in here, and this card is in here. Now I have some cards that I would like to summon with. Uh, uh, waking the dragon in case you would like to play that like the raid raptors there's another starters here by the way for the uh, lightning or the ro starlight road so these are definitely options uh what you can play instead of this is like super poly and then you can play like the uh Preda plant the starving venom and the uh, rocket fusion uh just so you can out like all generic boards and windows and stuff uh, i'm playing this right now because the format, again, hasn't settled down, so I'm not really sure if all the people will be playing that. But that's just an option to get a super poly packet in the side. Mega Fleet, these are just some examples of cards that you could play. Uh, not by all, like, anything like spectacular. I think that a card like this is really good, but that's really the only thing that you should play. So yeah, then it's kind of a little bit of a debate whether you want to side super poly. I don't really have a side deck for this yet. Uh, if I were to go make a side deck right now, I'd play the... Uh, Duster, the third Cyclone, I play Triple Lightning Storm or evenly up to like what I want. Then um, just a bunch of hand traps like the Nibiru's can go in. Uh, I'd probably side Phantasma in this format as well because it's just really good in this deck. And then I would side Waking Dragons and uh, Starlight Roads. Uh, or you can just play Super Poly because that's very solid in this deck as well. So yeah, those are just some options for you guys if you would like to play them. So really quick, just a breakdown of the stuff there, just to uh, show you guys what I have been playing, or uh, testing at least. Not really a deck that I am playing actively as of now, but uh, something that I will definitely consider for the future, just because, you know, this deck, it's still really good. Every time that I play this deck, it proves itself to me. And yeah, that really was it for me for this deck profile. So be sure to leave a like and comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!